YouTube. What's the deal, man? It's your boy, Goham. I'm back with another reaction, and I got Eminem, Never New One deck. Um, this is this ain't the second track um, per se, but this is the second track that we're doing off of um, the Marshall Mathis album. Because we already did stand, did kill, um, kill you, public service announcement. Um, so we're jumping in straight to the um, who knew. Thank everybody that comes and watches these videos every day. I do one Eminem every time I upload, or at least try to. More than likely, nine times out of ten, if it's seven days in a week, six of them things, I'm doing an Eminem. But with that being said, we're going to jump into this Who Knew. Before we do get started, I need you to make sure that you hit the like button so the channel can continue to grow. And that's going to make me continue to grind. So make sure that you subbed as well because I do all reactions and i got an eminem playlist um and i do all requests so uh with that being said just make sure you sub make sure you hit the like button and let's get into this joint motherfucker comes out sells a couple of million records when these motherfuckers hit the ceiling i don't do black music i don't do white music i make fight music for high school kids put he started this bitch off crazy hey yo i don't do black music i was like what and then he's like i don't do white music i'm like oh, all right he make fight music for high school kids <laughs> Hey yo, for real, this, his music would make you want to whoop somebody's ass, though. I ain't even gonna cap. I don't do black music. Uh -uh. I don't do white music. Uh -uh. Nope. I make fight music for high school kids. I put lives at risk when I drive like this. I put wives at risk with a knife like this. Shit. You probably think I'm in your tape deck now. I'm in the back seat of your truck with duct tape stretched out. Duck the fuck way down. Waiting to straight jump out. Put it over your mouth and grab you by the face. What now? Oh, you want me to watch my mouth? How? Take my fucking eyeballs out and turn them around? Look, I'll burn your fucking he said you want me to watch my mouth how take my eyeballs out and w like what do you say that you want me to watch my mouth how take my fucking eyeballs out and turn them around Look. you want me to watch my mouth how take my eyeballs out and turn them around like real shit, real shit i never understood that watch your mouth big what what now oh you want me to watch my mouth how? Take my fucking eyeballs out and turn them around. Look, I'll burn your fucking house down, circle around, and hit the hydrogen so you can't put your burning furniture out. I'm sorry, there must be a mix up. You want me to fix up lyrics while the president gets his dicks up? <sighs> Fuck that. Facts. You talk about what he doing. You want me to fix my lyrics while the president getting his dick sucked. You know, you know who he talking about. Come on, man. My boy Bill was in office getting a toppy for real. That's hey, that's funny as hell. He put that in there. Sorry, there must be a mix up. You want me to fix up lyrics while the president gets his dick up? <sighs> Fuck that. Take drugs, rape sluts, make fun of gay clubs, men who wear makeup, get away, wake up, get a sense of humor. We're trying to send some music. This is for your kids' and music. But don't blame me when Lil Eric jumps off of the terrace. You should have been watching him. Apparently, you ain't parents. I never knew why. Knew I would get this big. I never knew why. Knew I'd affect this kid. I never knew why. Get him to slit his wrist. I never knew why. Get him to hit this bitch. I you said, I never knew why I'd get him to slit his his wrist. I never knew how I'd get him to hit this bitch. That's the problem, though, with a lot of influencers. They not, they not even aware of how much power they got over not only the youth, just over just um, just over their fans. When people got a fandom, there's a lot of people that do shit that you say or or portray in your raps, bro. Facts, they would. I never knew why. Get him to slit his wrist. I never knew why. Get him to hit this bitch. I never knew why. Knew I would get this big. I never knew why. Knew I'd affect this kid. I never knew why. Get him to slit his wrist. I never knew why. Get him to hit this bitch. So who's bringing the guns in this country? Mm -hmm. I couldn't sneak a plastic pellet gun through customs over in London. <laughs> last week I seen the Schwarzenegger movie where he's shooting all sorts of these motherfuckers with a Uzi. I see. He said, I see this last week. I see the uh, Schwarzenegger movie when he was shooting all these motherfuckers with a Uzi. <laughs> Real shit. So, who is the bad guy here? <laughs> Real shit. This is hard. 
And last week I seen this Schwarzenegger movie where he's shooting all sorts of these motherfuckers with a Uzi. I see these three little kids up in the front row, screaming go with their 17 year old uncle. I'm like guidance, ain't they got the same moms and dads who got mad when I asked if they like violence? And told me that my tape taught them to swear, what about the makeup you allow your 12 year old daughter to wear? So tell me that your son doesn't know. Bro, bro, hey yo, he's firing back at the world. Anybody that said anything bad about him, I'm pretty sure he said something about you in this joint. He's basically, nigga, you worrying about me, but you got a 12 year old girl wearing makeup. Way too early for that shit. You starting her off on the wrong path. Get your ass in the parenting classes, cause that should not be going on. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Take taught him to swear. What about the makeup you allow your 12 year old daughter to wear? Hmm? So tell me that your son doesn't know any cuss words When his bus driver screaming at him, fucking him up worse And fuck was the first word I ever learned up in the third grade Flipping the gym teacher the bird <laughs> So read up, about how I used to get beat up Peed on, be on free lunch, and change school every three months My life's like, kinda what my wife's like what? Fucked up after I beat her fucking ass every night I <laughs> So how much easier would life be? Ooh He said when I whoop her ass every night I I could take Ooh <laughs> His wordplay is ridiculous. I know what my wife's like. What? Fucked up after I beat her fucking ass every night, Ike. So how much easier would life be if 19 million motherfuckers grew to be just like me? Cause I never knew I knew I would get this big. I never knew I knew I'd affect this kid. I never knew I'd get him to slit his wrist. I never knew I'd get him to hit this bitch. I never knew I knew I would get this big. I never knew I knew I'd affect this kid. I never knew I'd get him to slit his wrist. I never knew I'd get him to hit this bitch. I never knew I knew I'd have a new house or a new car. A couple years ago, I was more poorer than you are. <laughs> That bar right there should tell you to follow your fucking dreams. For real. About a year ago, he was... Bro, he never real, He never knew he was going to get a new house, a new car. Just a year ago, he said he was broker than you is. Even though you probably ain't broke. Just saying he was in the same position, if not worse, than what all of us is and or have been in, bro. Swear to God. Follow your fucking dreams, bro. That was... That was one of the only time you probably gonna hear Eminem say some positive shit. I never knew I knew I have a new house or a new car. A couple years ago, I was more poor than you are. I don't got that bad of a mouth, do I? Fuck shit ass bitch, cunt, shooby do doo wop. Skip it to be uh, uh, uh. Christopher Reeves. Sonny Bono skis horses and hitting some trees. Hey. How many retards to listen to me? And run up in the school shooting when they're pissed at the teach. Er, her, him, it's a Jew, it's a them. Wasn't me, Slim Shady said to do it again. Damn, how much damage can you do with a pen? Man, I'm just fucked up as you would've been. <laughs> you would've been in my shoes. Who would've thought Slim Shady would be something that you would've bought? That would've made you get a gun and shoot at a cop. I just said it. I ain't know if you do it or not. Cause I never knew. <laughs> bro, I just said it, bro. I ain't know you was gonna do that shit, bro. Facts. Hey, you ever hype your boy to do some stupid ass shit, but you just play it around, but he really do it? Like, damn, bro. I ain't know you was gonna. Then he get in trouble and blame the bro. Listen, I ain't know you was gonna do that stupid ass shit. <laughs> I ain't know you was down for no shit like that. Made you get a gun and shoot at the cop. I just said it. I, I ain't know if you do it or not. Cause I never knew I knew I would get this big. I never knew I knew I'd affect this kid. I never knew I'd get him to slit his wrist. I never knew I'd get him to hit this bitch. I never knew I knew I would get this big. I never knew I knew I'd affect this kid. I never knew I'd get him to slit his wrist. I never knew I'd get him to hit this bitch. How the fuck was I supposed to know? Alright, that was the boy Eminem. Who knew? Bro, who... Especially coming from, like you said, a position that he was in. Uh, fairly poor, you know what I'm saying, to say the least. Bro, I didn't know I was even big enough to give you all that type of influence. But like I said earlier in the video, that's a lot of people's problem. They don't know how much weight their, their voice hold, you know what I'm saying, or how much weight they hold. They hold so much weight where, where they say certain shit, other people either think it's cool or be like, yeah, fuck that. I'm like, yeah, boy. Like he said, I didn't know you was going to shoot the school up. <laughs> who who would have thought? <laughs> like, I'm just, he's, what he say about the pen, bro? Yeah. Who knew I had this much control with a pen? <laughs> for, for real. But like I said, whenever people get big enough or when people just um, 
can relate to you and shit, bro. Everything, this is just, you, you gravitate towards it. There's probably a few people that, um, even, not even the, the killing and the smacking up his girl and fuck his mom, all that shit that he be talking about anyway. I mean, apparently, if a young dude do that, they just way too influenced. But, there were certain things, even like, say, drugs. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that word on here, but look, like, say shit like that. There's people that listen to these rappers and influencers that ain't even really about the, the drug life, but has hopped into the streets, tried to sell drugs, wanted to do drugs. A lot of these rappers got people wanting to do shit like that. So I know you ain't think that you was going to have this dude do coke because that's all you talk about in your lyrics. So why would he think that you going to go shoot up the school? He, he wouldn't even think that. Not even a school anywhere. I wouldn't think that you would do no shit. Anyway, I'm I'm rambling, man. Listen, let me know in the comments what you think, man. If you think this shit go ham or if bro need to get back in the studio. Because me personally, I think it's another classic. <laughs> Everything I've reacted to on these albums has been the perfect hand-picked songs that all just got a vibe to it. A different vibe to it at that. But um, that's just my take on it, man. We about to get up out of here. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Like I said, make sure that you like the video and subscribe before you get up out of here, man. Go Ham TV. Let's get it.